up you guys welcome back to my bookish world i'm alex and today i'm going to be doing the bronte sisters book tag which was originally created by avery loves books i will link her channel down below go check it out and i was tagged by hannah from the bean bookologist i'll also link her channel down below i remembered i got to sit up on my knees if i want to do this um so yeah um i probably won't be tagging anybody but if i do check my description down below yeah all right so the first question is is charlotte bronte name an author you think deserves the most praise Angie Thomas, I think she deserves all the praise. I absolutely love her and I'm so happy that she is getting the praise that she deserves, but she deserves to know, deserves more. Everybody should know her name. Yeah. Number two, name a book that is mysterious or has a mysterious character. Mysterious character is Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo because the entire time we are trying to figure out why Evelyn Hugo has chosen this reporter to write her, um, to interview her and write this memoir because you know she's like a nobody so I it was a miss it was a wonderful book read it if you haven't I think the entire booktube community has read it but yeah read this it's so good number three name a character you relate a lot to I relate a lot to Kath from fangirl she is this girl who uh, starts college and is like a total nerd, ha doesn't really know anybody there, um, and really stops herself from feeling too lonely by reading and writing and being a part of some like online book community, which I basically did during my first year of college. So yeah, a cast for sure. Um, number four, what's a book you would like to learn more about? For that one, I'm going to go with Life Inside My Mind. Um, this is, um, a book full of essays by 31 authors sharing their personal struggles with mental health. Um, I'd like to learn more about this just because I know some of these stories are very short, um, obviously, but I would like to know more because I just think that, Mental health is such an important thing to be writing about and breaking the stigma around, so I think it's just very, very important to be reading this. And I totally recommend it. Um, I would look up triggers because they obviously talk about all of the mental a bunch of mental health issues. So yeah. Number five. Name a character that goes through many struggles but deserves a happy ending. For this one, I'm going to go with Someday Somewhere by Lindsay Champion. I read this book last year because I got an advanced reading copy and a giveaway from an author. It's signed. Anyway, it was a really cute book, um, and I wasn't really expecting it to be very sad, but towards the end and throughout the book, we kind of get this feeling of a mental health issue, mental health issue. But basically, the fur, the main character, what's her, what's his freaking name? Ben, Ben, the main love interest, Ben, has a mental illness, and we really get to finally, like, find out what it was. But he just deserves a happy ending because he's such a good, wonderful person. And so does Dominique because she just has, she's poor, she comes from a low-income area, but she just, she deserves the world, you know? Um, next see. Name a book couple that has its issues but you totally ship. Are you surprised that I'm choosing Katie and Damon from the book series? You shouldn't be. They do have issues, they do argue a lot. This story was, this book was published in like the early 2000s, so it does have some issues, but I still love this story so much and I would definitely recommend it if you want some trashy YA. Number seven, name a book that has, that is underrated that everyone should know about. For this one, I'm going to go with The Beauty That Remains by Ashley Woodfolk. This book deals with grief, um, and it follows three different characters who all have lost somebody very important to them and they all kind of connect in different ways but it was just such a wonderful book and I really connected with it and I think that it's something that you should read because obviously everybody experiences grief in their life. Okay. 
Okay, name a book character, or number eight, name a book character you would be interested to see gender bent. Um, I'm honestly really interested to see Rysand and Farah gender bent. Um, I would love to see Farah, or Rysand as a woman and Farah as a man, just because I think it would be an interesting power dynamic that we don't see very often in literature. Um, and yeah, I just think it would be wonderful. Um, and then number nine, Their Unfortunate Death, name a book that made you cry. Um, The Sweetest Kind of Poison by Katie Wismer, also known as Kate's Book Date, here on Booktube. Um, go check her out, she's wonderful. I loved this book so very much. It's her poetry book, um, and it fo focuses on toxic relationships. I think there is a trigger warning, if I remember. No, there's not a trigger warning, but it does deal with toxic relationships, so, um, be wary of that, but... Yeah, this book made me cry for sure. Okay, well that's it for this video. Thank you so much to Hannah for tagging me. And I don't think I'm going to tag anyone, but check out Hannah and Avery Loves Books down below. And I will see you guys next time. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. Follow all my social media down below. That's Twitter, Instagram, and Goodreads. And yeah, bye!